What's going on guys, Heighton86 here, bringing you an update video that I have just seen on Charlie Intel. In the background you're going to see I'm playing a little bit of core team deathmatch on USS Texas. Advance and take just kind of working on the, the gold and diamond SMGs at the moment, so bear with me, the gameplay is probably not the greatest. But Anyways, into the update. Sledgehammer Game says, big in-game event for World War II is coming soon. Next big update coming in the next few weeks. Pretty interesting, as long as they fix some major issues. But in a new post on Reddit, Michael Condry has shared some of the weapon tuning updates the studio is currently considering. Condry says that they cannot promise to make all these changes, but they are actively looking at all the data and feedback for weapon tuning update coming out in the next few weeks. Hopefully they nerf some of these sniper rifles, for the love of God. All right, straight from Condry. Here's what's top of mind currently. Though we haven't committed to any of them yet, let's just talk it through. The Car 98K. It's currently set up to be the second most damaging sniper to the Springfield, by a small margin, but also the quickest scoping time weapon in the class, hence why all the quick scopers use it. We're considering an ADS in time nerf. That would be great. This quick scoping is unreal. The FG-42. Did we go too far with the first rate nerf? The, sorry, the last fire rate nerf. It's a great weapon that we want to have as a viable option with other ARs and SMGs. Might need to find a medium between where it was and where it is now. So that'd be alright because it did slow it down a lot. It almost felt like an LMG when it was firing. Just my personal opinion. So we also got the M1 Garand. Some sentiment of it being OP is mostly coming because of the kill potential at closer range. Is, is. I'm having trouble speaking today. The difficulty of the weapon lies in its recoil when shot rapidly down range. But you don't really feel the recoil when firing at close range due to recoil affecting range fights. Hmm. More consistent aim assist at closer ranges. May need to adjust fire rate, pull up time, and or reload time. Okay, not so bad, not so bad. The STG-44. I love this weapon and it is such an iconic World War II assault rifle. It's pretty versatile too, but it may need a slight buff to make it competitive with the Bar, Garand, and the FG-42. If we buff as noted above and, and viable against some of the most used SMGs. So Condry's really looking at these weapons. Which is nice, I guess, but as long as he doesn't touch the SMGs, or... They got nerfed once, and I think it might be a little too much. I mean, they did buff the Thompson's fire rate and stuff, but I mean... I don't know, that grease gun needs a, needs a buff. So, Sledgehammer Games has also stated they are working on a new big in-game event that is set to go live soon, quote-unquote. Sledgehammer Games states more information on what the event is will be revealed in the near future. Mm. Alongside this, new game modes, engagement events, and DLC 1 is in the works. Can't wait. January 30th, I believe. Exciting. Bondry also says, we're working towards a massive full integrate similar, int integrate similar to our game update on December 7th. That should hit in the next couple weeks and will include many of the changes requested in this subreddit and our social channels. We're also working on an upcoming Resistance DLC 1, adding new modes and engagement events. Plus a big in-game event that's coming up. More details soon on that. Stay tuned for the latest information. So I, uh, I found that over on charlieintel.com. I will link the description down in the com... What? What am I saying? I will put the link to this in the description. Wow. Not hard to tell I'm not a professional YouTuber. Jesus. Having a little trouble spitting this stuff out. But anyway, so that's that's all that's on here that I can see. I'm scrolling. That's it. Everything I just read to you. Hopefully they fix some spawning issues. And I don't know. Let's just get excited for DLC 1. It's American. I mean, 
Call of Duty World War II is like the most, the top selling Call Enemy of Duty since Modern Warfare air. 3, I believe. So, I mean, hopefully this will get some hype going and I'll get her back. Anyways, I can't believe double XP weekend's over already. Kind of sucks. I was hoping to get more playing time, get some, some levels going, but you know how it is. Anyways, folks. Thursday's right around the corner, you know what that means. Episode 9 of Plays of the Week. We'll see you guys on the next one. We're breaking their backs. Package descending. Protect the drop zone. Fritz X bomb mission underway. Firing battery. Up. Target position confirmed. I'm searching for targets. Enemy bomb incoming. Get to cover. The tower. Enemy spotted. Fight on the target. They're pushing at the stern. Movement by the. Fritz X bomb mission underway. 